All right, so next up, what we want to do is we want to uh, set up the tool settings and the stock setup for exercise number two. Now, if I open up my Mastercam flow chart, uh, what we needed to do for the first two steps is select the machine type and the geometry. Now, we've done both of these already. If I go back to my drawing, this is my geometry, and there's my machine group. It's the lathe group that I've selected. So go back to my drawing now. The next step is to define tool settings and the stock. So always go over the master cam flow chart if you forget what to do next. So this is what we'll do in this video. We'll set up the tool settings and the stock setup. So come over here under tool settings and click on it and type in two for program number two and go ahead and select all the options on the right, including the advanced options as well. Now for the sequence number, again, I like to use um, one and 10. You can use whatever you like. You can have them start at hundred if you like but I like to use one in 10. That's just my preference. And let's go to stock setup. Now remember we have to change this from top, okay, to plus D plus Z over here and select okay. And then go to properties for left spindle. So for the left spindle, for the OD, remember we have a one inch OD, so change that to one. And then for the length, type in 1.375 and select use margins. Now remember, we always like to add margins at the end. Now, if you've noticed something here, what we've done is it's from the origin all the way back here, and there's our uh, I or OD of the part, okay? Now, we've noticed something real quick over here. This, don't get confused with the where the stock is, which is right here to the origin box, okay? So a lot of people might look at that and say, well, these dashes look very similar, but as you can see, these dashes right here are a little different than these. So the stock box is actually over this box right here. So the best thing I like to do to make sure that I'm looking at the right thing is actually just check OK. We're going to leave the margins at zero for now. Check OK, but then check shade boundaries. OK, remember the shade boundaries we, we used in the last exercise. So just make sure you check that out. And then now you can go back to properties. So now when you update anything in the margins, you'll see this update as well. So this is your stock and this is just your origin box, okay? So for the origin, for the OD, we're gonna add 0.1 to the OD. And for the right margin, we're gonna add 0.1 to that as well. For the left side, we're gonna add 1.5, okay? So after you're done, let me go ahead and select okay and okay to exit that and zoom out real quick. This is the stock you should uh, get. now. Our part was 1.375 and I added 1.5 on the left side of that. Do I need that? Definitely not. So this is where you can come in and uh, change that. But obviously you want to change the length of the stock to the length of the block that you actually have, not to whatever looks good. Okay. But for our sake over here, we're going to change this to um, a little bit less. We'll probably make it just one inch. So left margin, just one inch and select. Okay. All right. And so for the left spindle over here, select properties. Make sure the first one is selected over here. Okay. Use stock. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep it away from the edge of the stock to the edge of the tip over here. We're going to have it. Let me see if half an inch would be good. I'm going to move it up to the left. Even a little bit more would be good to 0.75. All right. Select. Okay. So we've set up our stock and our chug jaw right now. I'm going to zoom out after I'm done so you can see this real quick, but that's it. Select OK and zoom out real quick. And there you go. You'll see your chug jaws holding your part. And again, you can come in, change the colors of the chug jaw or the stock if you like. This is just for your reference. OK, but there you go. Looks good. We got our stock a little bit bigger than, um, you know, the, the stock a little bit bigger than the part. Now, because this is such a small part, uh, you're welcome to cut the initial stock or you know the beginning stock a little bit less because that's a lot of material that a excessive material so whenever you create a stock you want to begin with a stock a little bit bigger than your part not too much bigger so for our sake again we're going to change i'm going to change the stock to 0 0.05 instead of 0 0.1 and to do that like i said all you need to do is keep clicking on the tool settings or the stock setup and then go to your stock properties and change it and then press OK to accept that. And now, as you can see, it updates our chug jaw. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to show you. Now, our chug jaw is back uh, cl clamping on the OD of the part of the stock. 
Now I'll have to go back now to my chug jaw and select from stock again over here, from stock again, and then it will place it back to the stock. Okay, so you have to keep updating that. So if you change the OD of your stock, you need to change where it clamps onto where the chug jaw clamps onto your stock. There you go. This concludes this video of the tool settings and the stock setup.